file naming conventions. We are learning to save information using an appropriate naming convention for files and folders. Understanding naming conventions of files and folders is really important so that we can easily locate files on a web-based or external storage at a later date. Once you've determined the save location, and in my case I'm in Google Drive, um, you need to create your file structure. So in this case I need to go to New, and you can see I already have a Term 1 folder, I'll go to New, Folder, and I'm going to call this particular folder April, in the hope that I'm going to put all my work from April in that folder. What you may notice is that April popped up above the Term 1 in alphabetical order. I'm going to make a second folder called Collections and that has now popped in between Term 1 and April because it goes automatically in alphabetical order. Another way to think of files and folders is to think of them as if they are the hard pieces of paper and folders you have in front of you in real life. So for example, this is a folder. I can click it open and in there I can store files or documents inside. If I had a lot of these folders in one big pile, I would have a very difficult time trying to search what particular file I am looking for. Whereas if they were labelled in an easy way to understand, I can go, yes, I'm looking for Term 1's folder and I can go collect Term 1's folder. Or if I'm looking for a folder about maths and I find a la labelled folder called maths, I know that this folder contains files about maths. If I'm looking for a folder that's got lots of pictures about birthday parties and this folder was called birthday party, I know that this folder has all the right pictures. One important thing about labelling folders and files is that they make sense. So if I'm searching for birthday party pictures, I am expecting to find them in a folder labelled birthday party. I wouldn't expect to find photos from a birthday party or pictures from a birthday party in a file or folder called soccer pictures. Does it make sense? So when you have a naming convention, you need to make sure they make sense. Another thing to think about with folders is that they're organized in a way that makes it easy to find information. So every year, every school year has a term one, a term two, a term three. So if I wanted to put all of my Term 1 work together, I might label this folder Term 1 2022 because in Term 1 2021, I did work as well. And I would only organise work from that particular year to make it easy to find. I have a few examples of naming conventions here in front of you. You can organise folders by subject. So here you can see that I have three examples of folders called Maths, English and Science. So I would expect to find all my work to do with Maths inside the Maths folder. All my work to do with English I would find inside the English folder. And all of my work to do with Science inside the Science folder. I may also organise my documents by type. So any photographs I could place in the photo folder. Any documents such as docs, word, slides, presentations, I'll put in the documents folder. And any graphics such as images or animations, I could put inside the graphics folder. Can also organise information or files by number and date. So in this collection I have used the year to organise my folders. I might create other subfolders inside of those such as months of the year to organise documents within that year. In the next group of 
numbers. And this first one is 20220701, sorry. It doesn't look like it makes much sense, but when you break it down, it's actually the year, 2022, followed by the month, 07 July, followed by the day, 01. So in fact, this folder was created or holds items from the 1st of July, 2022. And while these group of numbers may look like gibberish at first, they make sense to me. So to recap, when we are saving digital files and folders, especially on external storage, such as a USB stick, on your device or in the cloud, such as a Google Drive or a Microsoft OneDrive, you need to make sure you're using a naming convention that is something, a naming way that stays the same for the files so that it makes sense and that files are easy to locate. I wonder if you can now have a go at creating your own file structure that makes sense and explain to someone why you have chosen that particular naming convention.